Hello, Nia. What brings you here? Hello, Edvard. Mr. Percival thought you needed help since it's the holidays. Oh, how very kind of him. It is getting rather busy here. Though, I do find it odd that we need these snow plows. The snow looks so small and light. They're important. Snowflakes may look small, but when piled together, they can cause real trouble on the line. Uh, what kind of trouble? They can cause tracks to get blocked if not plowed. The snow can also make the tracks slippery, so traveling on them at high speeds can cause trains to get derailed. We all have to do our part to keep the tracks clear and safe for everyone. Oh dear, I had no idea snow could be so dangerous. And be left behind by your driver and fireman. Left alone to freeze forever. <laughs> now, now, Bill and Ben, stop it. You're scaring her. Oh, come on. We were only fooling around. It's unlikely anything will happen. It's snow after all. Like I said, be careful with them. Now hurry and get the trains ready. Sure, whatever you say. Don't mind those two. They're a couple of pranksters and don't always know when to take things seriously. They should take things seriously and not scare others. Well, that's Bill and Ben for you. Come on, we've got work to do. Right. Yes, I am. Ben and Bill, correct? That's us. A good train is ready for you to take to Brendam Docks. A good train? What do you mean? The station master wants you to pull it. Since Salty and Porter are busy managing with the... Uh, with other stuff. Uh, yeah. Uh, we'll take care of the vans here while you're gone. Don't worry. It's just us, Bill and Ben. <laughs> Ah, of course. I'm on my way. Nia? What are you doing here? I thought you were sorting vans at the yard. I'm here to pick up a goods train, Edward. I hope I'm not late. There's no goods train here. Who told you that there would be? It was Ben and Bill. It seems those two rascals played a bit of a prank on you, lass. Oh no! Eh, don't get too puffed up about it. Almost every engine gets tripped by them eventually. Well, I just was. I have to hurry back. I'll talk to them and give them a piece of my mind. I can't believe those two. I'm hours behind on my work. Ah! What are you doing? Hi, Mia. How was your trip to Brendan Docks? Terrible. You tricked me, and now I'm delayed in my work. I'll be even further behind after I fix this mess you've made. Come on, it was only a joke. It's not funny. What if I get in trouble for what you two have done? Well, are you in trouble? Um, no. So, you've got nothing to worry about. Then I have no idea how I'm going to get back on schedule. Oh, speaking of schedules, we have somewhere to be. See you, Nia. Wait, you're not going to help me put all this back? That's not our job. <laughs> Toodles. Nia! Nia? 
I'm sorry. I didn't mean to sleep on the job. No, no, it's fine. I just wanted to let you know that I talked to Bill and Ben and scolded them for their prank. Thank you. I don't know why they did that. I didn't do anything to them. Playing tricks is in their nature. Sometimes they just need to be reminded when they've gone too far. I think they've gone too far. Working the rails is a serious job. Like you said, others can get hurt if we don't do our best to keep the rails clear. I did say that, but there are exceptions. You just need to find the right balance. I suppose. I just got word that there's a snow blockage at a major tunnel. Would one of you be able to take care of it? I can. Are you sure? Absolutely. It was my responsibility to keep the tracks clear. Be careful. I heard a snowstorm is supposed to be arriving soon. I'll have it plowed before then. Wish me luck. Nia, you should be careful. The snow's starting. We should head back. No, we've got to do this. They're all relying on me. Sounds like Nia. She's in trouble. Well, we have to help her. But we're not strong enough to plough through that. We can ask someone for help. Uh, maybe Edward can help. Oh, I think he's taking care of passengers at the moment. And most of the other engines are busy at the main line. So, who should we ask then? Well, you know who I'm thinking? Yes, actually, I know who you're thinking. He'd be perfect for the job. Let's get going. Hello, you must be near. I'm Boko. Nice to meet you, Boko. Thank me later. Let's get you out of here. We can't have an engine trapped inside the tunnel. Ben and Bill, I'm so glad to see you. Hey, don't worry. We're not here to play around. Nia, we're sorry about earlier. We like playing tricks, but we should have considered how it would affect you and your work. Ah, thank you. Apology accepted. I'm sorry I tried to move the snow all by myself. I felt like everyone would be disappointed in me if I didn't clear it. No one would have been disappointed in you. You're a hard-working and a useful engine. Really? Asante sana. Oh, so you got tricked by them too? That's Bill and Ben for you. Ha, <laughs> true. They can be maddening. But this team wouldn't be the same without them. 
<laughs> you guys wouldn't survive without us. <laughs> yeah, right. I've heard what happened. You two should be sorry about this. They are, and they've already apologized. Besides, they brought this diesel named Boko. Boko? Oh, it is you! It's been a while since you've come to visit Sodor. Yeah, sorry. The mainland's been quite busy lately. You know how it is with the other diesels. I certainly do. Will you be staying tonight? Considering how late it is, I might as well. Then welcome back, Boko. It's great seeing friends reunited. Sodor really is a wonderful place.